Hello, YouTube. So I'm, uh, I'm at work. Uh, doing roofing today. Sometimes I do siding, sometimes I do some frame and stuff. Um, but I'm just, you know, kind of like a stage hand, just helping out and stuff. So, I have this nice uh, house uh, in town. Just roofing, getting it done. Of course, I got my safety harness. OSHA certified. Uh, you know, I just wanted to make this video real quick. Because uh, manual, I just just talking about manual labor. Manual labor is the way to go for any man. Uh, not that you're not a man if you have a different kind of job. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you want to test yourself and see what substance you're you're made out of, do some hard manual labor. Um, you will see your own flesh rise up against you. And then you'll also see if you have enough intestinal fortitude to subject that flesh to whatever you demand that flesh to do. Um, you know, your back starts hurting, you start aching and stuff, especially with shingle bundle. You got two pallets, two squares of shingles, and I, I just funnel them up the ladder. Um, I get up there, you know, every, all the time really, but sometimes it's just safer for me to stay down, for example. This is some uh, uh, 7 16 plywood on the on the roof, but it's old and it's very, very dry, so it's brittle. And I've already had it crack on me a few times up there, so I come down and I just do do kind of a supportive role because I'm not I'm not messing with that. Um, but uh, that's beside the point. My point was, <laughs> one thing that your flesh will do, at least for me, I've seen it happen. Um, maybe the boss has to go get some extra supplies or you know, uh, the person who was helping you stops helping you and they go do something else and then you're by yourself. Suddenly your flesh wants to slack off. Oh, the boss isn't looking so I can, I can take it easy. I can sit down. I can take a break. And then <laughs> what happened with me, Holy Spirit quickened me to remember the parable of uh, when the king or the master uh, leaves and he's out on business and he leaves his servants with tasks to do. Um, when he returns, will he find you faithful? And so for me, just because the master or the boss, quote unquote, is not looking, it doesn't mean it's, it's reason enough to slack off. There's never reason to slack off as long as there work, there's work to be done. So I've learned that. Um, and there's all kind of things that, you know, parables of Jesus and all kind of other uh, lessons in the, in the book popping up because had I not put myself through this, I would have never experienced, you know, realizing how wicked my flesh is and that, it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to sweat. It doesn't want to do that. You know, your flesh doesn't want to do those things. It likes comfort. But the more and more that I do manual labor, the more and more I have control over my body and I can subject my flesh to the things that I tell it to do. And I'm not led by that. I'm led by the spirit. So manual labor, pretty much anything with your hands, it'll show you what kind of man you are. And it'll also help you see areas where you're uh you're, you're slacking it and areas you can improve it so um i'm having a good time it's wonderful weather i mean it's, it's always hot on top of the roof you got the the, the paper and the ice and water uh and, you know all the other stuff and it, yes that was hot it's hot up there you know it's right in front of the sun that black tar and everything sucks up the sunlight uh it gets hot but hey that's what that's just the work uh, that i got for me at hand so that's what i gotta do but there's a satisfaction knowing when you can look at something and look and know that had it not been for you, that thing wouldn't have got up there. And you see how appreciative the customers are and all the other stuff. Um, and also, you know, my, my boss, I mean, he's a real good guy. Uh, I mean, he helps me even when I'm, you know, with my crazy school schedule, he'll still work with me and he's very flexible. And he's a, he's a very honorable guy. So. Um, you you learn a lot about the men that you work with just by working with them and I've been uh, fortunate and blessed I know there's a lot of shoddy contractors out there and stuff like that but my boss is a real real down to earth guy and he's got a lot of integrity and he takes pride in putting his name on something and he wants it to be safe uh, for the customers as if it's his own family so uh, it's been a joy working with him and, and learning different things from him and I mean it's, it's also I've been, been able to witness to him a lot so, uh, you know, he's been able to hear the truth and he actually has seen me contend for the truth um, with, with an Amish guy who was coming against me and 
I mean, I, I, I didn't know that I shredded him down, but my boss said he was looking on and listening and everything. But that's that's just another story for another time. But overall, do manual labor. It'll show you what kind of man you are. It really, really will. And if you are a man of integrity and you're a man that values uh, constructive criticism, you'll see how weak you are in various areas. And that should be motivation enough for you to get stronger in those areas. And I'm noticing for me that it, that is motivation for that. So, um, yeah, shalom. I got to get back to work. Bless you all. Uh, y'all have a good day. I mean, it's beautiful out here. Y'all have a great day. Check this out. No chemtrails today. Not a drop of chemtrails. It's beautiful. Oh, wait. Never mind. I saw one. There it is. It might not be a chemtrail. It might actually be a condensation trail. Yeah, it's a condensation trail. Wow, that's a surprise.